my ancestors were stolen from Mother Africa in the year 1619, the first slave ship, and brought to Jamestown, Virginia. The first person to die in the first American war, the American Revolutionary War, was a black man. His name is Crispus Attucks. A lot of people don't know, don't know that history. And it proves the point that black people have been dying for this country. And we still don't have our full rights. I saw the Jackson 5 on the Ed Sullivan show. I want to be Michael Jackson. I had the afro, the looks, but singing and dancing, that's where it stopped. So I grew up with, I'm just a year older than him. I grew up with Michael Jackson. I felt that it was, it was my feelings when I first got there. I was looked upon like the only reason I'm in school is because I was fulfilling the quota. That film came out in 1989. I wrote it in 1988. When you see Brother Eric Garner, when you see King George Floyd murdered, lynched, I think of Ray Rahim. And you would think and hope that 30 some motherfucking years later, the black people stopped being hunted down like the animals. Who is Malcolm X? Malcolm X was this guy who they think was saying all white people are blue eyed devils. But then uh, the course of time, you know, things have a way of turning around. And when a guy's been dead and buried 20 years, he's not, he's not that uh, potentially dangerous. The black woman has it doubly hard. Not only is she black, she's also a woman. And the only way I think to correct that, as far as cinema is concerned, is for more women, people to be involved in the creative process of filmmaking. More women writing screenplays, more women producing films, more women directing films. Bush and Republicans, they don't care about poor people. And I think another telling tale about Katrina is that a lot of white, white, a lot of white people found out that Bush didn't care about them also. He doesn't care about white poor people either. What do we want? Peace. What do we want? Peace. What do we want? Put the guns down now. Put the guns down now. Put the guns. We have to come out from under the tyranny 
of an NRA and the gun manufacturers. That's what it comes down to. And not both politicians in the office that accept money from both of them. If a ruckus had not been raised, I believe that the Academy would not have made those changes. We want to connect a film that's a period piece, early 70s, with what is happening today in the world. That was our job as storytellers to make that connection for the audience. Too many people have been silent about what is going on. And it is my hope that this film, Black Klansman, sparks conversation, or more conversation, about what is happening in this country. What uh, keeps you motivated after all this work? Well, I'm one of the blessed people in the world who gets to make a living doing what they love. It's simple. Most people go to their grave having worked the job they hated. I've seen so many young, young kids with parents holding their hand. Parents are making the decision that their children need to see what is happening in the United States of America. And they want their children to be a witness. And they're explaining, they're not just putting out there at the same time, learning education happening. Because the kids are saying, mommy, daddy, what's happening? And these parents are explaining to their very young children what is happening, why they're out there, and why they brought them along too. And what it gives me more hope that the, the, the large amount of my young white brother and sister out there who are joining us, join their black and brown sisters. You know, it, it's, it's, really, it's really a mosaic. It was not just black, black and brown people out there marching. Yeah. And in many cities, you know, the black and brown people are the minority. 